Welcome back to Google Developers Weekly for February 18th, 2014. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google Developers on the set and off. We start off our recap with something really quick, as in quick UDP internet connections, a next generation transport which aims to reduce latency and much more. Web speed master Ilya Grigoric helps us learn how quick works and tells us what's around the corner in this fast moving project. We then welcome back Yarik Vikevich to the studio to talk Freebase, a free and open knowledge graph with millions of entities. Yarik and Dan Brickley show you how to experiment with Freebase RDF data using a prepackaged distribution created by Sindice Technologies. Watch the event and grab the image at sindicetech.com slash freebase. We then are geotagged with a pair of Maps videos. The first comes from Maps magician Mano Marks, who introduces two new features found in Google Maps SDK for iOS, gradient polylines and reverse geocoding. Then we're joined by engineering interns Emma Yeep and Iris Uwe, who talk about the Heatmaps library, a great way to visualize large amounts of geospatial data. From New York, continuing his crusade to bring all of you coders to version 3 of the YouTube Data API, Jeff Posnick is back, talking about how quota is handled. And should you want to find out more, you can always catch up at youtube.com slash dev. For the last five weeks, we've hosted Chris Wilson, Sean Bennett, and Peter Lubbers for the latest office hours talking mobile web development for the Udacity CS256 course. This week's event takes on lessons 10 through 12. If you've missed it, we've got more than cliff notes. We've got everything for your viewing pleasure. Felipe Hoffa from the Cloud Platform team hosted Pearson's Director of Data Science, Colin Selman. The pair walked through how Pearson uses data science to improve education, including Python and BigQuery. Pong Ying and Mihai Ionescu, two of my favorite walleteers, then walked through the Wallet Objects API C Sharp Quick Start Sample. If you understood what that meant, this show's for you. And we wrapped up our studio work this week with the latest from the CAST team, who debuted the CAST SDK for Android. This video gives an introduction on how to build Google CAST Sender applications for Android using the Google CAST SDK. There was lots of big news about Google Cloud SQL this week. First, Cloud SQL graduated to general availability with databases up to 500 gigabytes. Plus, data is now automatically stored encrypted, and there's an uptime SLA of 99.95%. And finally, you know those pages with infinite scroll? Maybe your site even has some of them. If so, you'll want search engines to crawl all that infinite content. For the best technique on how to do this, check out this week's blog post on Google Developers Blog at googledevelopers.blogspot.com. And to make sure that you never miss a thing from the world of Google Developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.